All right, hi there everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we're back inside the observatory for some more modification, shall we say. So, as we know, all our USB devices uh, can be not 100% reliable, shall we say, and this sometimes necessitates, you know, just simply turning them on and off again or unplugging them and plugging them back in to solve some of the common problems that we see. So, this can lead us to some problems when you're obviously doing remote imaging or remote control of the observatory from inside the house or wherever. So this is my current USB hub that I've got on the pier and it's a TP-Link 7 port powered USB hub and uh, in connected into this hub I've got the mount, the main imaging camera, the guide camera, the dome and shutter rotator and the uh, sky quality meter. And then I also use the spare USB ports there for the flat panel for taking the calibration frames. Now, one of the issues that I see is sometimes, you know, as I said, the camera maybe isn't playing up or it's not showing the correct information or there's a connection problem or whatever it is. And you need to power it off and on again or come and disconnect it and plug it back in again. So looking at the hub at the moment, you maybe can't see it, but the actual the power light is on, even though I've got no power going into the hub. And if I unplug the hub, it doesn't make any difference. And if we look at the Sonoff unit, just quickly, we can see rig one hub, no red light, it's powered off, which all ties in nicely. So you would think with the power hub being switched off, we shouldn't see any devices connected to the hub, but unfortunately we get power leakage through the system. I don't know how they've designed this, uh, but it still picks up power. The devices, or some of the devices pick up power from uh, externally. So what do I mean by that? So if we go across to the computer, you'll see exactly what I mean. So here we are looking at the computer screen and you can see in the device manager, I've currently got the ASI 2600MC Pro camera connected and I've also got my two USB serial devices, COM ports 9 and COM ports 4, which are for the sky quality meter and the dome rotation system. And if we go across to Nina, here we can see I'm currently connected to the ASI 2600. But if I go across and disconnect that camera and try and connect the Player One camera, which is my guide camera, it fails to connect, even though they're coming off the same USB hub. Now, why do I want to disconnect and reconnect things? Well, as I said earlier, sometimes we get problems. And here we can see a typical example of an occasional issue I see where the sensor temperature in the camera is not reading, it's just giving us a zero error. And I find that if I unplug and plug in the, the uh, camera, that problem goes away. Now, I would have hoped that being able to turn the power on and off of the hub should be able to physically or give you a simulated disconnect and reconnect of the device. Unfortunately, with this hub, for whatever reasons, that doesn't happen. So if I now turn on the hub, over here, we can hear a device connect on the computer. And if we look at the device manager now, we can see the Player One Astro camera, the Neptune M, has now connected. And if I came out of Nina, uh, sorry, I came out of that connection and I can now connect to the camera, the Neptune M camera. So everything works great. But yet, if I go back and reconnect to the 2600, we still have this issue with the sensor temperature not reading. So now, if I unplug and re-plug in the main imaging camera, we hear it drop out on the computer, plug it back in, disconnect and reconnect on Nina, and now the sensor temperature is reading. And this is one of the issues that I'm trying to be able to solve remotely. Now I know there is a bug in the um, ASI cameras that sometimes uh, it does this and it could be related to the ribbon cable within the camera, but I'm reluctant to go and take the camera to bits at this time. And uh, hopefully just a power disconnect and reconnect will solve that problem. However, as I've said, turning off the power to the hub doesn't make the camera disappear as it's drawing in power from elsewhere. So one of the things I thought about doing was opening up the hub, 
trying to find how the power management is done inside it and cutting any tracks and things like that inside the hub that's maybe pulling in power off the host PC's uh, connection or is it back feeding from one of the other devices, I don't know. So to try and solve this problem, I'm going to switch the USB hub out to a new one. And for that, I have turned to the Pegasus Astro USB hub, which has got independent uh, channel control on the hub, hopefully, or that's what it claims in the, uh, the literature. So inside the box, we've got a simple USB A to type B uh, USB 3 cable, and we've got the hub in the box itself. So if I open up the hub, packet. On the hub we have got six USB 3.1 uh, Type A connectors, a uh, Type B connector for going back to the host PC and on the back we've got a 12 to 14 volt uh, standard DC jack and there's also this extension port which is a Pegasus Astro uh, expansion port for extending devices and things like that. However, I don't know what connects into that and I'm not really needing it at this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the Belkin, sorry, the TP-Link uh, 7 port powered hub I have with this and uh, see if that makes a difference to the connections. Okay, so here we are back at the TP-Link hub and what I'm planning on doing just to get an initial test done is I'm just going to uh, have this sat down here, that way I can pick up the power cable without having to do any cable modifications etc. And then I'll just plug all the devices into the hub here as it stands. So I've turned off the power to the existing USB hub from the Sonoff uh, unit and I can unplug the 12 volts that come into here and I can take my um, dome rotator and sky quality meter out of there and I can hear them uh, disconnecting on the computer as they drop their USB connections. Then I've got the two imaging cameras hear it disconnecting and now I'll just need to unwind the hub cable because I've got it wrapped around the, uh, the pier just to tidy up a bit and get some additional length temporarily plug that into the hub So that's all the devices now disconnected from the cold hub. And now down here I've got the cable, the active USB cable that comes in uh, from the computer. I can swap the cable that goes to the old hub with the cable that came supplied with the uh, hub, the new hub. Plug that into the port. And we haven't heard any devices connect on the computer which is great which means that they're not getting power uh, with the hub being turned off and if I go across to the hub control uh, switch for the power on the Sonoff unit and turn it on we can hear the devices connecting on the computer which I suspect is the hub being found and there's some other devices coming in so let's go across to the computer and see what we can see now Okay, so I've hopped over to Pegasus Astro website, download page, and we can download the Unity platform, which includes all the drivers for, all the ASCOM drivers for their various pieces of equipment. So we'll download that, we'll leave that to download. Okay, so here we are back on the desktop, and here's the download from Pegasus Astro's Unity platform, so we'll install that. So I'm remote desktoped onto the rig that controls the uh, uh, RASA and we're installed and here's the shortcut to the Unity platform fire that up okay and there's the USB control hub so it's found that device 
All right, so here we are in the hub and we can see the startup configuration. You can say what you want to do with the various ports and uh, what their current state is. So what I can do now is I, I can name all the ports and what the device is. So I'll just call this rig one hub and save that. And then I can go and name all the various ports. ASI 2600, MC, uh, top one is the layer one, Neptune M, and bottom left is the CGXL, and I won't worry about the uh, rotator and the SQM at the moment. So we can save these names. We'll just have all the power on uh, when it first powers up. So that is the configuration. Okay, so if we have a look at the device manager side by side with the Pegasus Astro control panel, and we turn off a USB 3, which is for the ASI camera. We can see the device disappears off the device manager, which is excellent. So now if I go across to Nina and try and connect to it, it should fail. Excellent. Connect to the player one, that should be okay. Perfect, so let's disconnect that. Read enable the ASI camera and connect to that. And the sensor temperature has come back. Excellent. So it looks like I don't think I changed unplugged anything since the last failure. So it looks like turning off and on that port appears to have worked on this occasion, which is excellent as that's what I was trying to achieve. Okay, so now we've got the Unity platform. We should also be able to connect uh, the Pegasus Astro uh, into the switch. Oh, there we go. Pegasus Astro USB control hub. Let's configure it. There we go. And now we have got the Pegasus Astro USB control hub controllable from Nina and it's pulled in the USB port names which is excellent. Alright so that's a very quick uh, changeover for the USB hub and uh, hopefully uh, that will solve some of the problems with the device sensor on the ASI camera. If not well then I'll need to uh, think about taking the camera to bits yeah, but at least I know I can turn on and off ports remotely and I'm not getting power bleed through in from other devices and uh, hopefully uh, if there is any devices that need uh, to be disconnected and reconnected or powered on and off this will be a more reliable solution than it was with the previous powered hub from TP-Link. Alright, so that's all. Thanks very much for watching and hopefully we'll catch you soon for some maybe imaging. That would be nice if these damn clouds would go away. So, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you later.